So I play this young girl, Sydney Prescott, who discovers that her boyfriend's this crazy serial killer who also killed her mother the year before that. <laughs> so what kind of research did you do for the part? Uh, I get the it. Book. They get Tori Spelling to play Sid, and they cast Joe Blow Nobody to play me. <laughs> At least you get David Schwimmer. I get the guy who drove Jane Seymour stagecoach for one episode of Dr. Quinn. Many of us love to theorize about who might play us or someone that we know in a movie. Who resembles us in Hollywood? And who could bring out and portray our most personal traits with gravitas and dignity? Today I thought I'd play a fun little game with YouTube Fitness. With a grab bag of influencers, I'm gonna play casting director. The criteria is as follows. Like with many biopics, the resemblance does not have to be completely identical. I mean, look at Hugh Jackman as P.T. Barnum in The Greatest Showman. Looks nothing like P.T. Barnum. Or Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga playing Ed and Lorraine Warren in The Conjuring movies. Looks nothing like them. I mean, I want the resemblance to be close, but there are only so many direct lookalikes in Hollywood. I mean, we can't all be Robert Downey Jr. as Charlie Chaplin, or Ben Kingsley as Gandhi. Also, I'm choosing actors from any point in their careers. Living or dead, doesn't matter. Lastly, and this one should go without saying, since we're casting YouTube Fitness, basically everybody we're casting is like extremely jacked. And there are only so many actors in Hollywood who are gonna be able to have the sort of physiques that we're looking for. So again, it's implied that basically all these actors are either gonna have to bulk up and or go on some kind of performance enhancing drug in order to bring the physiques to life. This video is not meant to offend in any way. Let's just have some fun. Starting with someone who is not a doctor, but he does play one on TV. I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. But, okay, he doesn't actually, but he could if we cast the person who is gonna play him in the... Anyway, Greg Doucette. I would not actually cast Iago or Gilbert Gottfried as Greg Doucette. I can't believe it! I just don't believe it! Before you watch this freaking video, like it! Like the button right now! No! Like, maybe Gilbert Godfrey could do it, but I actually see the legendary and often critically acclaimed Al Pacino in the role. Like, hear me out. They're about the same height, he's got similar skin tone to Greg, he's got similar facial features, and he can definitely nail that voice. Shut up for my new friend! Take Pacino circa like the 1970s or even the 1980s, bulk him up a bit, and I bet you he could have delivered us a swell Coach Greg biopic. Train harder than last time! And next up, we're talking about Jeff Cavalier of Athlean X. What's up, guys? Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. And as seen on the thumbnail, yes, I would likely cast David Schwimmer. Now, whenever Friends is discussed, Ross often gets a bad rap. Hello? Hi. <laughs> but I love Ross, and I love David Schwimmer. He's a very talented actor. And obviously, there's an extreme close resemblance between him and Jeff Cavalier. I've kind of always thought of Jeff as like a really jacked Ross. And as a bonus, another actor that I might cast is someone like Adrian Brody. Like, like tell me I'm wrong. Spike up the hair and you're halfway there. I would watch a Will Tennyson biopic, would you? Hey, that's mine, don't touch it. Can I just have one bite? Fine, but just one. Okay, so we have one bite. Can I do this in one bite? Looks to be about six inches, quite a lot of girth. My best is five, so that would be a PR. Should I go for it? Yeah, let's go for it. And to play him, we're going back to Heather's to grab Christian Slater. You're not a rebel. You're fucking psychotic. You say tomato, I say tomato. With a similar look right down to the hair, I could definitely see this. And Slater definitely has the acting chops to bring one of our most creative tubers to life on the big screen. And if we want more modern examples, I could also see like Evan Peters or Timothy Chalamet in the role. But if we do go with Timothy Chalamet, we're definitely gonna have to bulk that boy up. Jesse James West proved to be difficult to cast at first, but then I was listening to Rob Lowe's podcast and I was like, yes, Rob Lowe in St. Elmo's Fire. He's got the hair, the earring, the strong jaw, the overall handsome visage. I mean, no, he's not a dead ringer by any means, but I could definitely see it. Yeah, finish the anabolic French toast, and let me tell you, when you put fruit on it, it's definitely more anabolic. So, Coach Greg, what do you think? Literally my favorite dessert alternative. I'll go get changed. Omar Isaf was also kind of hard to cast. I started by thinking about the actors in Hollywood who traditionally have longer hair. So I was like, maybe Jason Momoa? Like, shave the beard, pale him up a bit? Yeah, you could do it. But no. Then I thought of an early 1990s Johnny Depp. Even if we can't agree on the resemblance, I mean, Johnny Depp is basically a chameleon. He could probably play just about anybody if you gave him the chance. And unlike Jesse James West and Omar, Juju Mufu proved to be very easy to cast. Christopher Hivju. Christopher Hivju. 
Christopher hives you. I mean, Christopher hives you. Christopher hives you. I mean, come on. Need I say more? Scott Herman already has kind of a movie star look about him, but he proved to be difficult to cast nevertheless. But I kind of see like a Chris Evans type in the role. Evans has sort of that classic, good-looking, boy-next-door look about him. And he's very likable, just like Herman. Everyone said, oh, you sound like the departed. It's like, yeah, it's kind of what it's like. Someone like Matt Damon would probably do the accent better. I have the best Boston accent. I'll leave it at that, okay? If you just the accent off Damon versus Wahlberg, which one did you like more? I think that Damon is better, and I think Wahlberg overdoes it. But Chris Evans gets my vote. Jeff Nippard basically has the perfect doppelganger in a modern-day Daniel Radcliffe. I'm not talking about a Harry Potter Daniel Radcliffe, I'm talking more like Swiss Army Man style. They're of a similar height, and there's definitely a strong facial resemblance. And also, Daniel Radcliffe has proven himself to be a very versatile actor. What? 17 and a half inches? What am I, shrinking? Time for the palm. <laughs> Buff Dudes were one of the first fitness channels that I ever subscribed to. They are truly a joy. And I could definitely see somebody like David Harbour playing Brandon, but in regards to the both of them, I really kind of just see the Hemsworth brothers. And I feel like either could play either, I don't really know. Now I kind of feel tiny. Do you feel tiny? Time for another poem. Keanu Reeves is one of my favorite actors of all time. No, I wouldn't say he's technically the best actor. I know where the bastard sleeps. I bought him there. But he remains one of my favorites, nevertheless. A very earnest man who's known to be one of the kindest people in showbiz. <laughs> and who does a speed era Keanu Reeves remind you of? I mean, I don't know about you but I definitely see him bringing the gem that is Sean Nalawani to the big screen. Similar in appearance, I also see Reeves' honesty and virtue being a perfect fit for someone like Sean. And if this video can help at least a portion of people out there save their money and spend it elsewhere on things that are actually of value to them, then I'm happy to take the time to go ahead and post this. The final casting choice is one that is often discussed already. When it comes to Simon Miller, the bald a-hole, here and Gerald the f no, I'm not singing. It's not Greece. Many seem to think that he and Johnny Sins are already the same person. A lot of people actually think he's Johnny Sins. And you're thinking, well, why? Well, it's because he looks like him. But my name is Simon Miller, and it's not Johnny Sins. Now, you probably saw the title of this video, and you've heard the intro of this video, and you're like, what is Simon talk about? Because you don't live in my world. But Johnny Sins is not exactly the actor we are looking for for this kind of role. So, in his place, I would put Jason Statham. Do you look like Jason Statham? You should do an impersonation. Oh no, I'm gonna die because my heart has got stuff on it. That was the worst Jason Statham impression ever. Okay, fine, I'll cast Johnny Sins. And that's it for the video. An odd one, I know. But I hope you had fun nevertheless. And if you made it this far, let me know in the comments below if you have any thoughts on this subject. And maybe on your way, hit that like button, perhaps the subscribe button as well. It doesn't cost you anything, maybe just a little bit of finger fitness with those clicks. Let's be friends. Hopefully I'll see you real soon.